This story began over 30 years ago, deep in the Borneo jungle. With an unlikely friendship between a Swiss environmentalist and a local tribesman who united to lead a rebellion to stop the logging of the land. These last primary jungles here are getting locked from civilized, already well situated people against the will of the, these last nomadic people. We have been in the forest, in the jungle, and these are our properties. And when people come in, it is like they're coming in into our house and steal and take things away without our permission. You know? As the stakes grew higher, those on the other side began to fight even harder, as one of the friends disappeared in the jungle, never to be seen again. And the other was forced into exile far away. How can a civil servant amass a personal fortune of $15 billion? Easy. Just destroy the very rainforest you have been entrusted to protect. That's the charge being leveled against this man. His name is Taib Mahmoud. How did this gentleman amass such a fortune? We return to Borneo as the fight to save the last pocket of virgin rainforest intensifies. And we follow as the battleground moves onto the international stage. Everyone knows there is huge corruption involved in the tropical timber business. Interpol has estimated that more than $30 billion are laundered a year. We have to tackle this system and we have to follow the money. My family and myself are doing well. It has nothing to do with exploitation, taking anything out of this country. We've linked Thai and those close to him to 400 companies in 25 countries. I stand here to bring a message from the native people of Sarawak about the destruction of our homeland 